hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel life with arike um today i'm gonna be sharing with you one of my um native recipe which is called ojojo hmm this recipe i remember during my childhood there's a lady that used to make this ojojo recipe and we have to rush and buy this ojojo for lunch so ever since then i always loved this ojojo recipe so when i grew up i learned how to make it myself and i really love it so i decided to share with every one of you today stay tuned and watch my video if you are a tiny subscriber i want to say thank you and if you are watching me for the first time i say thank you for joining this um page so i want to start making my ojojo i have my water yam i have my salt i have my maggi seasoning cube which are made in the powder form and i have my red pepper uh the crushed pepper um that is what i'm going to be using for this recipe you can see i peel the ojojo i mean the yam to see if it is very good that is how i check to see how the yam is very good and white so i have all my recipe i have half teaspoon of salt i have um, crushed pepper i have my seasoning powder and i have my crushed um peppers which is uh habanero and uh bell pepper and i have also have some onion so i slice my yam into two as you can see the yam is very nice and white which is going to give us a nice result for this ojojo so i slice my yam into two then i started use my grater to grate the ojojo because this is how we're going to fry you can see so white and the yam is so good it come out so good so when you are buying your yam try to look for a very white yam you can see the way i check it i use my um nails to peel it a little bit just to check the whiteness of the yam and as you can see it's very nice and very white so this is really good for me to use so i started adding my um seasoning powder the salt and the crushed pepper this yam our uh, jojo recipe is very quick and easy it's a very easy one to make so after that, I had my chopped onion, had my uh, bell peppers and habanero, and I tried to mix everything together. So lastly, I also had my Goya seasoning powder. It's optional, um, but I just checked the taste. I figured out that I need a little bit more seasoning, and I just add it, and I mix everything together. Then I will start um, with my oil. I have my oil in the pot, which I've already eaten up a little bit so i start with the uh the spoon method i try to use the spoon method to use the spoon to scrub the uh yam into the oil for it to fry but it doesn't really work so good for me so i switched to my hand i started using my hand you can see when i scrub the uh, uh the yam into the oil it doesn't really come out so nice and good so it worked for some people but it doesn't really work for me so i decided to use my hand because that is what i really used to so i scrub the uh the yam the water yam into the oil to fry it you know everything is coming out so good then you're just gonna see and i will show you how they look like after frying and don't forget you fry each side for about um seven to uh ten minutes depends on how you want it dry some people want it like very crunchy and some people want it like a little bit uh fry so it depends on how you want it like my husband used to want it like not really that uh crunchy but for me sometimes i love it crunchy sometimes i love it like a little bit uh just fry like a regular fry so depends on what you choose that will determine um, uh, how much time you're gonna let it fry so Turn it to the other side and just scrape it from the uh, from the oil and you're good to go. You see, I, I just use my uh, paper towel to drain some extra uh, excess oil. So keep washing and after that, that's it. Look at how they look. Very easy to make and very light food. If you want something really light to eat for your lunch, for your breakfast, for your dinner, this is the best recipe for you. And it doesn't require that much money to make this. You can also add any protein. You can add fish. You can add meat. You're good to go. So I'm going to be having mine with some gari. Hmm. The gari jebu. 
So you can have it all alone by itself. You can eat it with just only cold drink. You can have it with gari. As you can see, I had a little bit sugar into my gari. Then I'm going to add my cold water and I'm good to go. All right. If you really enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share to your friend and get, let me know what you think about this recipe. Enjoy and have a wonderful day. Bye. See you guys in my next video. Thank you.